Welcome to another round of my little Get Out of My Series. Today I have, of course, something special for you. The story goes like that. Uh, a friend of mine came into my studio recently, uh, had a case with him. I said, what is that? He opened the case, this guitar popped out, and uh, I was uh, surprised because, to be honest, I never heard before of uh, the brand Paoletti. And uh, I learned a little bit. Um, while I don't have really all the information uh, about this guitar, but uh, I thought to myself, I need to make a demo, isn't it? I did read the name Paoletti and I checked the guitar and I thought to myself, Paoletti sounds very Italian. And uh, yeah, of course I learned, uh, buongiorno da posto, that this uh, guitar is from uh, a company based in Tuscany in Italy and um, was formerly, um, yeah, I think a wine business uh, for generations. And from this wine business, they have wine barrels. And these wine barrels, yeah, I don't know, one day the, the Paoletti family meeting decided from these wine barrels, we can make wonderful guitars. And they make guitars from wine barrel wood. So this is chestnut wood and it's very old, more than 100 years old, so not five years old, so it's more than 100 up to 150 years old, I have learned. I don't know exactly how old it is for this guitar. Maybe someone familiar with Paoletti guitars can, can write that here in the comments or uh, give us more information. So I, I only was able to read a little bit on the internet and it's not too much. But what I have uh, learned also is that these guitars are, yeah, handcrafted. And um, yeah, it's also written here on the back. And um, this is a specific signature model they made for a, it's called Paoletti 112 Loft. And it's uh, made for, uh, as a signature model, made for a British guitar player, the lead guitarist of the band, uh, metalcore band, Bring Me The Horizon. He, his name is Lee Malia, or Lee Malia, I'm not exactly sure. And, um, However, this guitar is a little bit customized, so my friend ordered it with another um, neck and um, some details are different. I'm not absolutely sure about that. And um, yeah, the body is from chestnut wood, from the wine barrels. Uh, <laughs> still some alcohol in it, isn't it? And um, um, the neck is made from Canadian uh, roasted maple and the fretboard is very fine ebony. I'm not sure about the inlays. Maybe they are chestnut as well. That's what I would believe, but I can't be sure. Um, so if you know it better, write it here in the comment section for the other users that they are able to learn more about this fine Italian company. Because I took the guitar in my hands and I immediately saw also the details the the brass base here for the bridge and the saddles very good quality uh, here also this is uh, brass not not plastic the pickups um, are also made by Paoletti themselves hand wired uh, what I found out is this is a yeah obviously a PAF model in the neck position it's a P90 and single coil and uh, this is a very nice pickup. Um, and it's, uh, it has a wood, uh, it sits in a wood case, so it's not from metal. And um, there is a three-way switch, normal wiring, and there's a split coil switch for the bridge pickup. And uh, very nice detail are the potentiometers there from CDS, but uh, the knobs are not made from plastic. And yeah, look here in the detail, I figure they are probably, yeah, <laughs> from made from real shotgun rounds. So this guitar means Italian business. And um, yeah, I can say overall the guitar is um, crafted very well. It's handmade. The neck um, has a very good playability. However, for my personal taste, for my hands, it's a little bit thick. It has a medium C profile. I prefer a little bit thinner uh, neck profiles. It's custom ordered anyway from my friend. So it's not... Um, yeah, you don't find it in the catalog from Paoletti like this with his neck, but this is just a personal thing. Other guitar players will be ultra happy with the playability and quality of this neck and how 
the guitar is balanced and everything. So before I babble too much, I have prepared two playbacks. Um, one is Crunch. Uh, my friend, uh, who is a rocker, requested that I play with high gain. So that's not my daily business. But for him, I, I said, OK, <laughs> uh, I'll do my best. Uh, I'll do my best to play a little bit with more gain. Um, the other playback is clean. And um, then the P90 will really shine. And um, yeah. Uh, I wish you simply lots of fun. Yeah, as you heard, this guitar uh, yeah, can rock somewhat. Uh, it makes a lot of fun for me over playing over a Marshall JCM 2000 dual super lead. And uh, yeah, it, it just works. Uh, it says, come on, baby, come on, rock, rock me. <laughs> uh, it's a fun guitar. And 
Yeah, my next playback is a clean playback so that you hear more of the, the finer nuances and qualities uh, of the pickups, especially of this P90. For me, it's glorious uh, working together with this wood and everything. So have fun. As you hopefully heard, this guitar also offers very nice clean tones, so it's not a one-trick pony, it's not only a rock or metalcore guitar for a drop D or drop C tuning or whatever. It's a surprising instrument uh, from Italy, Italia, Italia, so, uh, you know, I'm from Germany and, and Italy is nearly neighboring to Germany. We love our Italian neighbors. And uh, yeah, this guitar makes no exception. I hope you learned a little bit uh, about this guitar um, and um, see you next time. Bye bye.